everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Today I am in Bordeaux. I feel like my recent vlogs have just been me all over the place, but I've just been doing some really like cool travel stuff recently and it makes sense to vlog it as I go. I thought what I would do is kind of like I did with my LA vlog and just film clips throughout my trip and then put it all together into one video. So what you're about to see is basically the highlights of my trip in Bordeaux. So I am here with Cordely, the beautiful French skincare brand. I've been loving their products for such a long time now. So I was so, so excited when I was invited to come out to Bordeaux where the brand was born literally I've come to a place called Les Sources de Cordelie and this is where the products were made like ever <laughs> literally ever this is where they were created um so it's incredible to be here I've literally just arrived got to my hotel room and I can't even begin to describe how stunning this whole place is. It's not even really a hotel because, I mean, it is a hotel because you stay here, but the way it's all laid out, like, there are these beautiful buildings dotted around and there's a vineyard where all of the wine is made. And I mean, the basis of Cordelie is the grape. So um, it's just incredible literally staying in the middle of a vineyard. But I haven't seen much of it. You haven't missed anything yet, I promise. So we're going to go on a bit of a tour and I want to just show you around um, as I discover it myself as well but I think first of all we've got about two or three hours to just chill in the rooms um, I'm thinking of going to the gym if I have the energy I'm gonna see um, but then we're actually going to the vineyard to have a little walk around get to know the place a bit better I think we're gonna be doing some wine tasting as well and then we've got a beautiful dinner this evening at the restaurant on site which is actually a Michelin star restaurant so I think that would be quite special. But yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to this. So this is the view from the tower and you can see everything. Over there in the distance is the hotel where we're staying. And this is basically where they make all of the amazing wine. So we're gonna be tasting some wine later such a gorgeous view and basically all of the green fields that you can see that aren't beyond the forest is the vineyard where they produce the wine here. So this is the cellar for the white wine. Okay so we're about to go and see the red wine cellar. These barrels are huge. So this machine that you can see behind me extracts the seeds from the grape and I didn't realise that when you're making wine you can't use the seeds because it makes it really bitter. So what they used to do years ago was extract the seeds and just throw them away and Mathilde, who is the daughter of the family that own this whole vineyard, she used to do tours and she was showing people around and um, she used to sell the extract of the grapes but then she met this professor that said actually the, um, the seeds that you're extracting and not using, they have really high antioxidants and you could definitely do something with that. And that's when Mathilde, as a young woman, realised that she could really be doing something with the seeds in cosmetics. So that's what Cordelie is all based on, using the seeds that used to be thrown away from the vineyard. So they're super high in antioxidants and vitamin C, it's so great for your skin and uh, that's what Cordelie uh, uses even today. But they even use the sap from the branch and the grapes and um, even the branches from the vineyard. So they use every kind of aspect of the grape. It just means that nothing goes to waste. So it's this whole kind of idea of the circular industry of being eco-friendly and using all of the resources. <laughs> Oh my god. <gasps> Anyone up for wine? That does not look <laughs> no? real. I feel like there are a million mirrors. Yeah, and it's I just totally reflecting. Was cute. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's incredible. Okay, wow. and this is all red. Yes. Yeah. yeah. All red wine. Yes. Don't worry, we will taste it later. We can drink <laughs> it for dinner. <laughs> Do you know what the Codely words mean? No, what that, does it mean? That's actually the name of the brand. So a Codely is the number of seconds that the wine stays in your mouth. So when you try a wine and you keep the flavor of the wine for like, let's say 10 seconds, so that means that that wine has 10 Caudalis. 
So oh, hence why wow. the bran actually is named Cozali. Oh it's the amount goodness. of seconds that the wine stays, uh, the flavor stays in your mouth. <gasps> that, no, <laughs> that's so <laughs> interesting. I just explained to them what a Cozali is. Jackpot! Ah. <laughs> 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 He's in a bad mood. <laughs> Coffee jackpot. <laughs> We have just been in here tasting some of the amazing wine um, and we actually had the owner come and tell us how to uh, drink wine basically, teach us. She is just such an incredible woman, both of her daughters are in the business, uh, one of them Alice owns the hotel and then Mathilde owns the, uh, owns Quarterly, the um, cosmetic brand that goes alongside it so yeah it's just such an amazing place to be and learn about this incredible family but yeah we were just uh, taught how to drink wine you have to aerate it by kind of um, spinning it I suppose spinning the glass on the table and then smelling it with your nose first take a sip um, kind of wash it around your mouth for about 20 seconds which is a long time and then taste it and it's amazing, like the wine just tastes incredible. Look at Sammy doing her thing. I love her dress. I need to ask her where that dress I is really from. Like it's stunning. It's so well. stunning. Yeah. She looks great. <laughs> she spotted me. <laughs> I know, I'm like stalking her. <laughs> Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq. <laughs> yeah. Was that music video appropriate? <laughs> oh, rien de rien. <laughs> I've got crazy windswept hair right now. Look what's in my room. This huge panet of um, grapes. I've already eaten all of the strawberries. But these grapes, I'm not normally a fan of just... Um, black grapes on their own but these are so tasty they're so delicious right so while my room is still relatively tidy i thought i'd give you a quick tour so this is my little terrace area and look at the view i've got this little stream here it's just absolutely beautiful it looks like a postcard or something it's stunning so let's go through this is the bedroom nice comfy bed well it looks like it I haven't actually slept in it yet um i'll show you around here this is my little lounge area i love how bright it is there's a lot of color going on i feel like a lot of hotel rooms are a bit scared by color but um no i think it makes such a difference it's so homely and pretty this is actually the main front door so you come in this way so i suppose this is like my little hallway but yeah back through here into the bedroom and loads of wardrobe space which is amazing then we have got the bathroom just all of my bits and bobs out i always lay out everything when i get to a hotel i just have to get everything out this looks amazing i can't actually remember what this is but i think this was leek tatar some kind of consomme and then quinoa and vegetables from the garden so excited about coming back to the room to find my favorite pajama company Desmond and Dempsey pajamas these are amazing they're in their tropical print they are literally the best pajamas in the world <laughs> wow so this is the indoor um, kind of thermal pool Look at how stunning this whole decor is. And then outside, let's see if we can see, we've got the pool over there. Time for the treatment. I'm about to have a massage. Enjoy, ladies. Look at all of us filming our feed. <laughs> we're all doing the same. <laughs> so we're about to go and explore Bordeaux, like the actual town. Oh, I haven't shown you girls properly. Hey, I'm Kate Manal and Sammy. Hello. 
<laughs> I feel like I've vlogged you just kind of like me stalking you girls, but I haven't actually said hello. <laughs> but we're having a really great time so far. Super like relaxed from our spa sesh earlier, but time to explore the town. This statue is so confusing. It looks like it's 3D, but it's actually basically flat. Like if I come around here, you'll see. Look, how weird. Seriously just can't get over that statue. I don't know if it's coming across on the camera, but it makes my eyes look weird just staring at it. It's like not real. Wow, look at this store. It's like the absolute dream. So amazing. Look at all this stuff. Found the girls in here. <laughs> Yum. <gasps> Dark chocolate. Thank you. Yes, please. We are refueling with some coffee. I've ordered this Indonesian coffee filter so coffee. French. Coffee is so French. Is this a good coffee place? It is. The you worst. like it? The it's worst. worst. <laughs> it's very It's my brother in love. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a joke. Oh, so nice. I hope you like this one. That was really, really good coffee. We've been told by the really sassy <laughs> tour guide <laughs> that we've got to call it cafe from now on. Cafe. So we're gonna go back to London and be like, oh, I really fancy a cafe. Cafe and it's probably like, we'll <laughs> yeah. stop calling it that. I know. <laughs> I tried to explain to him though that we go to a cafe to have coffee. Yeah. So we couldn't really be like, I really want a cafe. Yeah. But <laughs> it's so Bordeaux. <laughs> He's told us everything is so Bordeaux. <laughs> The cash phrase today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we are safe, guys. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh my God, wow. It's it's so good. Bordeaux. Okay. This is so Bordeaux. Yeah. Let me tell you. Wow. Yeah. You see, and look so wow. nice. around you. Everyone. Oh my God. Smith for Oh, wow. of course. So bothered. So I thought I'd give you a quick outfit of the day. So my skirt is from Mango. I just bought this uh, like last week. I really like it. It's got little buttons all the way down. Um, my shoes are from Karen Millen. And I've literally been living in these. They're so comfy and I've been walking in them all day and they're absolutely fine. Um, my top is also new. This is from um, Sturrets. I've never worn them before, but they seem like this really nice designer. Um, so yeah, I found this and it's really, really nice. It's like linen. Nice fit. And then my bag is from Heidi Klein. Little basket bag, which I love. Uh, what else have I got? Sunglasses. Ray-Ban, classic, standard. <laughs> and then my earrings are from Wanderlust. <laughs> Look what we stumbled upon. <laughs> Getting in the pig. <laughs> Amazing. This is the the Bordeaux boutique. Looks really gorgeous in there. French with That's better. So we've come to this bookstore called Molat and all of these um, kind of blue painted doors that you see all the way down to the end is one bookshop and it's the oldest and biggest bookshop in, well, Bordeaux definitely, but he may have said France, but I might be making that up. <laughs> this place is absolutely massive. Beautiful, but where are we? Amazing. I love the look of this place. This is like my kind of place. It's a bookshop that also has coffee and tea, so it's like a little cafe. So, so sweet. You annoyed at me. <laughs> I thought it looked really nice. It's a bookshop with a, with a coffee yeah, and yeah, tea. Yeah, 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 it is. Very nice. I was saying it's my kind of place. <laughs> sorry for holding you up. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I've found this amazing um, vegan carrot cake. It looks so, so delicious. I can't remember what this place is called. Um, the kitchen garden we're at. It sounds really, really good. There are all of these like amazing French delicacies, like little cakes um, that people have been having, but they contain a lot of cream, so I haven't had any, because obviously I 
only plant based, um, but we stumbled upon this amazing place, um, kitchen garden, and I think it's all vegan or at least all vegetarian, and then a lot of vegan options. Um, but we just popped in to see if they had any cakes to go, and they do. They've got a um, banana cake, orange cake, um, and then like lemon cakes and everything. But yeah, I'm taking the carrot cake to go. Wow, this looks absolutely incredible. I'm so excited to try this. Today is our last day. We are flying back to London this afternoon, but it's nice that we've got the morning to just kind of hang out. It's super, super chilled. We've actually just met Mathilde, who is the founder of Cordially. So, so great to just sit down and chat with her and find out about the whole origins of the brand and everything. She's so amazing, really, really inspiring. I mean, like I said, I think yesterday, the whole family are just so inspiring, but. No, it's been such a great trip. I think we're going to go down to the deli. They've got this amazing deli on one of their restaurants with them where they sell like all of the olive oils and olive tapenades. So I think we're gonna go and uh, stock up on a few bits when in Bordeaux and nice lunch and just chill, get the plane back. It's such a shame because today it's actually really rainy. We were really lucky yesterday with the weather because it was um, forecast to rain. But today, it really is raining. And we were actually meant to have a picnic and go on a bike ride and everything. Um, but it's, it's nice, like I say, we're just gonna have a super chilled one today. So they've got loads of products here that are actually made on site and from like local farms and delis and stuff. And down here, they have some walnut oil with black truffle. Oh, it looks so good. I love truffle oil. There's all the truffle at the bottom. Amazing. So we are leaving Bordeaux now ride. and it is yeah. raining. But I'm quite happy about that. I'd be sad if it was like gorgeous sunshine and we were going. Loving your look, Naomi. <laughs> Loving my look, yeah. I haven't actually acknowledged the fact that I have my jacket on my head, but you know. <laughs> 